what's up everybody i am so excited about today's video the the keyword here is exclusive uh let's say contemporary and i guess it, it goes along hand in hand with exclusive but location 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 we all know that that tagline for real estate so 1055 south foothill drive in beautiful salt lake city but to be specific we're in the Yale Crest neighborhood. Yale Crest, which is a very, again, exclusive, very de highly desired area in Salt Lake City on the East Bench. Now, if you're a regular on my channel, you will recognize this listing right here, who, uh, which I spotlighted. It was part of the Parade of Homes this past uh, summer. And correct, uh, currently, that's what I meant to say, currently, it's still on sale or for sale for 2.2 million a little under 2.2 million so um do go back uh, 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 i'd say like about a m two months maybe if you want to watch the walkthrough of that parade of home property so still for sale now the one that we're going to be looking at are these right here so this one right here to my left is already under contract however they're still accepting backup offers that one is for sale at 1.4 million actually in fact a, a few dollars under 1.4 million so it's still uh, accepting backup offers this one right here in the middle is the one that we're going to be looking at right now so currently on the market for 1.335 so a little over 1.3 million i am in love i haven't walked through it but when i walked through this one as I was going back to my car, I happened to, happened to glance at this one. I looked at the MLS pictures, and this is truly, truly a stunning contemporary design. The finishes, high-end appliances, just everything, natural stone countertops. It's going to be an amazing property. So at 1.335, that is a lot of money for a townhome. But it's all about the location, about the finishes. My gosh, just the curb appeal, though. The exposed brick with the black and the, and the industrial industrial look is amazing. It's one of my favorites. So behind these trees, uh, I don't know if you can hear, is Foothill Drive. Again, this is on the east bench. We're about 13th east, 14th east. Um, again, Yale Crest neighborhood in Salt Lake City. Interesting uh, architecture. You don't get a lot of a lot of um, new construction, but you do get some interest. I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe at the end, I'll go ahead and and show you the facade of that one but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into this home which is it was uh, i think it was constructed by altis development um but anyway we're gonna go ahead and take a look we're talking about three bedrooms four bathrooms uh you know front facing so we get the two-car garage directly in front of the the main road uh three bedrooms four bathrooms a little over 2200 square feet as you can see the the contemporary feel the urban feel yet you're in a very well-established mature trees neighborhood, it's second and none. So something that's very, very highly desired. So as you go out to the main road or to Foothill, you're literally minutes away from University of Utah, downtown Salt Lake City, Salt Lake International Airport. If you're a skier, if you're a snowboarder, you're just minutes away from several uh, ski resorts. So again, Man, I love this. I love the exposed brick and I love the black. My goodness. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this property. Here's the main entrance. So obviously your guests would be parking right here. I'm not quite sure if they would be able to park in this. I think it's a Methodist or maybe Lutheran Church parking lot. Um, but anyway, whether you buy that home, you buy this one or you buy the one next door, this would be your scenery as you come out of your property. So you have your guests come in through the stairway and then into this beautiful beautiful home so i love the glass doors yes the i guess the sense of privacy kind of goes away with with you know glass but then again the the vibe and the taste is awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and get this door open and i'll see you in a second okay so now that we have access to this beautiful beautiful contemporary town home as i said outside for a risk of running of sounding redundant and repetitive this is going to be an absolute beauty of a contemporary townhome new build 2023 right off the main entrance we have the little mudroom cabinets hooks for your coats and just i think this property would be a delight to 
decorate, especially in the holidays, as you can see, obviously Halloween coming up, you have the pumpkins. So directly to my right, we have the dining portion of the main living space, room for artwork, family portraits, a piano, lovely, lovely couch, perfect couch is the type of couch that I love. Anyway, you have the living space, the living room. We have a beautiful, beautiful finished uh, fireplace. Again, you have your electronics, your TV, high ceilings throughout the whole main floor. Here to my left, we have the large natural stone countertops. Here's a large oversized counter. Oh my gosh, even these chairs. So my wife eventually will see this video. This is the type of couch that I love. And those chairs are the type of chairs that I love for our island. But anyway, continuing on, we have the, the lovely large island here in the middle. Again, the finishes with everything that you see. We have Wolf Appliances, Sub-Zero. See the fridge right over here. Very nice, kind of hidden with you know the whole theme of the white cabinets. Love the idea of finishing the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling so there's no awkward gap. Again, continuing on the same theme with the countertops. They have the backsplash and a little bit of a, a, a gloss finish. A lovely, interesting placement of a picture. Like I said, you have the stainless steel appliances, high end. Lovely kitchen. I love the kitchen. I love the, I think the, it was oak wood, what I read. I don't, let's see, where's the paperwork? I think I read that the flooring was this custom flooring. Here it is. So as I said, well, right now it says 1.35. Right now they actually reduced the price to 1335. So 2,200 feet, uh, square feet, three, four bathrooms. Where is it? The flooring. Carpet, hardwood. So it is hardwood, but I, where was it? Contemporary, high-end finishes. Yeah, so custom white oak flooring. Beautiful flooring. And it just contrasts so well with, you know, the theme of this living room. You know, the, they've done a really good job with, with decorating with the browns, the whites, the blacks. Lighting fixtures. You know I'm a sucker for lighting fixtures over the dining table. Now check out these windows, check out this view. Now it's a perfect sunny day in Salt Lake City. Uh, yesterday, not so much, <laughs> but today it's beautiful. You get large amounts of natural light coming in as you oversee the driveway and the west side of the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, we'll see if upstairs you get a view of the west side front because again, you're so close to the mountains, whether you wanna go trail running, riding bikes, camping, skiing, you're so close. Before we actually head to the uh, rest of the home, we'll point out the lighting fixtures overhanging the uh, over the, the island. We have a beautiful contrast between the wood and the black industrial feel that I love. Here to my left, or actually let's go in front first. So we have the French doors. Okay, let's see if I can know how to operate these. We have beautiful French doors opening up the whole space. You know, here's a panoramic view of the kitchen, the living room, the main room, the front door. And then you have these beautiful French doors giving you access to the outside. Now, that road back there is Foothill Drive. It is busy, a busy road, but you do get a view of the, uh, of the mountains. You do have green space, whether you have pets, kids, I think it's beautiful. You do have access, I guess, to the back with that gate, I guess it just goes that way. Whether you wanna go barbecuing or just have the out indoor outdoor uh, entertainment option, it is there. Okay, let me go ahead and be nice and actually close up, leave it as I found it. Okay, so the French doors, access to the backyard, directly to my left, we have the powder room behind the kitchen. So your half bath with a continuous, again, I will point out as I always do, no carpeting except right there uh, in the main living space, which I love. Same theme as we saw in the kitchen with the natural stone, black frame window, uh, window, <laughs> uh, mirror. And again, just simple, but just yet very, very beautiful. Okay, I think before we head to the upstairs, we're gonna go down here and take a look at the finished basement. Nice, nice addition having this window so you get more natural light. 
Okay, so now we're at ground level with the garage. This should be the access to the two car garage. Which right now is not being used as a garage, but you have plenty of space. As you can see, there's extra space on the sides for either storage, a tool, um, chest, or just more storage options. That over there, it's a little closet, and then there's a little cutout over there for your tools and gardening tools. So you come in through the two car garage, directly to your left, we have a bedroom. And again, I'll remind you, this is a three bedroom town home. This one, ground level, um, technically the basement, but because of the elevation, it's a walkout, I guess that way, but that way, yeah, it's, uh, you know, the typical uh, basement, so not a lot of natural light coming in. This one does have carpeting, so we went from the wood upstairs to carpet to uh, tile. And then this bedroom, decent size, that's like a full, or is that a queen? That's like queen size bed. So queen size bed, you have your garage, your garage, my goodness, what am I thinking? Your closet, room for a TV, decent high, uh, you know, nine foot ceilings. It's not completely, you don't feel completely cramped or give you the idea or sense that you're in a basement. And then you have your ensuite bathroom. So your bathtub, uh, good uh, backsplash, and then same continuation of the color palette that we saw upstairs. So one bedroom checked off. And then we have, I guess, technically the official mud room because the one upstairs is more of a, a mud room, but not necessarily mud room. That was more of a, you know, you have your guests, you can, they can hang out their coats or you have more cabinet space or little cubbies. But the official mud room is this one right here. And then, oh, and then you have storage under the stairs. So we got basement done. We have the main living, which is absolutely stunning. Yes, 1.335 is a lot for a townhome, but you gotta take into account it's a new build in an area that you do not get a lot of new builds. Uh, so location, location, location. And just the finishes, just the finishes. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, as we make our way to the second floor, again, we have carpeting, we have the beautiful contrast with the wood and the, the black steel, the industrial look. Top floor, just like the downstairs, no carpeting, I like that. Large window facing east, so we can get a glimpse of the mountains through the trees. And again, much deserved natural light coming in. Wow, I just got winded from all those stairs. Anyway, so to my right, we have the second bedroom. Again, pretty decent size, nine foot ceilings. Plenty of windows, natural light coming in. We have a closet right here. So, decent size. It also has an ensuite bathroom. So we go from the carpet to the wood uh, flooring. Same color palette, same vibe as we saw downstairs. So bedroom number two. Across from this bedroom, we have the stacked washer and dryer. I love the addition of the sink and then some storage space on the other side. So storage, I do not do, do read, as you know, you know the protocol, always look, read the video description, just in case I've missed something or I find out something later on with the agent, with the sales consultant, anyway. Read the video description to see if the washing are, are included. Okay, so behind this door, I'm assuming it's just closet, oh no, mechanical, and then room for your vacuum. And now here's the main piece that a lot of you may be interested in finding out. This is your master bedroom. I absolutely, and I cannot stress enough how much I love a master bedroom with wood flooring. I detest carpeting with a passion. The fact, and again, you can do like a fun rug anyway, but just wood flooring, plenty of space, Plenty of view and light coming in through the large windows in this ensuite. Well, obviously it's an ensuite. You have your master, master bedroom, but you have plenty of space to decorate as you would like. We have the walk-in closet, which again, they continued on the wood flooring here in the main bedroom closet. And then here's a view of the master bath. 
So we got your standalone, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Your standalone soaking tub. Just everything chrome, just beautifully done. Like I said from the beginning, the finishes in this townhome are second to none. Large windows, so you can get, you have blackout shades, I think, yeah. Uh, with, again, a great view of the west side of the Salt Lake Valley. His and hers, sinks, double sinks. Love the lighting fixtures. Again, the continu continuity, that's what I meant. My goodness, I'm struggling, struggling today. The continuity of the pa color palette of the you know, natural stone countertops, the blacks, the whites, the browns, just this is something I would love to have. Um, here's the toilet room. And then look at this beautifully, again, not super large, but it's still a pretty decent size Euro shower with massive shower head. But then again, as you can see on the other up opposite on the little bench area, you get the car wash effect. So again, this property, 1.335, we're talking about a little over 2,200 square feet three bedrooms, one of which is this one, the master bedroom, beautifully done. Four bathrooms. We're talking about two car garage in the yellow crest. I'm gonna go ahead and, and give you the view as you make your way down your property to the main living space. Uh, the yellow crest neighborhood here in beautiful Salt Lake City and the East Bench. And again, it's just, oh, can't say enough. I love this property and do I think or believe that it is 1.335 million? Yes, I do. It's a lot of money for, you know, the fact that this is a mid row unit. You're sharing that wall, you're sharing that wall. But still, the exclusivity, the attention to detail, the high end finishes, it's beautiful. I like it. I would get it. Sell it to me, please. If I just had the 1.3, then I, I definitely would do it. So, this, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my booties right now. So this has been, again, on the market, just not that long. So it's not gonna, as I told you, next door, that is an end unit. Hence away, it's a little bit bigger. It's, I think, I believe it's a hundred, yeah, yeah, a hundred square feet up bigger, the one next door. It is more expensive. It's close, a little under 1.4 million. So again, you're saving about $700,000. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door and then I'll continue, okay? So as I was saying, now that it's locked, uh, the one next door is 1.4, a little under 1.4, 100 feet of square feet bigger. It is an end unit, but it, they are accepting back offers. So whether you're interested on this one next door, that is again, under contract, but they are accepting backup offers, or you're interested in the one that I just showed you, do let me know. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I need more space, I need something that is, you know, in the area, but is a standalone property, go back uh, a few videos back and you'll see the walkthrough of that one at 2.2 million. So fu fully remodeled. But again, we're not talking about this property. We're talking about this property. I love this, the facade, the curb appeal. I think it's my main, I would say, safe to say that this is my main standout is the curb appeal we know that in real estate to sell any property there are like four main things i'm not going to list them but the number one thing is curb appeal so anyway that has been this listing do reach out to me if you have any questions drop a comment on the video call me text me send me an email follow me on social media like as i promised i wanted to show you the home that is actually right over there. Uh, not for sale, I just wanted to show you the interesting contrast between a new build, industrial, urban living, more established homes, fully remodeled homes, and then you have a much older home over there with Halloween, as you can see, Halloween um, decorations, but definitely a different vibe, different year for that home. So beautiful beautiful listing i was so excited to, i've been wanting to come here and have an excuse to drive all the way to downtown salt lake city it showed itself today so i was like you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and make it make it uh a plan to walk through that property so beautiful property okay let me know what you think 
especially if you want to move forward with an offer or any questions about the builder, the listing, the area, or just the real estate market. All right, peace.